Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Uh, so it's Junk Journal July time. Um, I'm a day behind, so I need to get myself caught back up again. Um, so today we're working on day 18. The prompt is cut out. Um, okay, so this one, I'll be honest, partly why I'm behind is I really had a hard time <laughs> trying to figure out what I wanted to do um, for this prompt. Um, I don't know. It, I feel like we just did it with this one, to be honest. I was like, really? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what else can I do that's cut out? I mean, fussy cutting is pretty much what I was thinking, but then I kept thinking, okay, well, there's there's more than just fussy cutting. We can do more than that. Um, so I'm just giving you a quick little recap of what we've kind of done the last couple days. Um, this was texture. Um, One-sided is this one. Uh, and then this is the last one that we did, which was my go-to palette, which this is not my go-to palette. If you watched that video, you'll know. It just, it kind of took on a life of its own. <laughs> oh, and now I'm kind of wishing I would have distressed this a little bit. I suppose I still could. Should I try it? Should I do that right now? Would that be a bad idea? Let's make sure I have the brown very lightly, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Yep. That really helped. Okay. Okay. Now I got that out of my system. <laughs> now, here is our spread for today. Um, so cut out. So I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna make this one pretty simple, I think. Um, I'm not going to overthink it. Uh, what I wanted to do was, well, I'll tell you what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was have some kind of cool background and then find some kind of image where, uh, thinking it would be in a magazine or, you know, something like that, where, uh, I could keep some of the, or, you know, part of the image intact, but then cut it out so that it would eventually kind of just fade and morph into the background that I would have. So I'm going to do that still, but in a slightly less, uh, less, I don't know, how am I, <laughs> how do I say this the way that I wanted to come out? Um, in a more simple way. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, I, um, I still have one tub of paper pads <laughs> here um, that has not been packed away. Um, and so anyway, in that um, bin uh, of paper pads is this one from Bicky, Bicky Vooten. <laughs> Vicky Vooten. Um, amazing, amazing artist, by the way. And she has a YouTube if you want to check her out. She's She's pretty cool. So this one is mixed media, maybe is what it, is that what it's called? Premium? No, mixed media. We're we're gonna say it's called mixed media because I don't know where else it would be named any different. Um, so anyway, this is what the cover looks like. This is what the back cover looks like. Um, distributed by American Crafts. So, if you don't know where to find Vicky Booten, I don't know how to help you. Um, Joanne's, I know, carries it. I got this at Tuesday morning back in 2020, March of 2020. Um, so, it's been out for a while. Okay, so, the page I want is this one. We're going to do a rainbow. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm hoarding this one, you guys. I don't want to use it because it's just so pretty. So I'm going to mark this with pencil um, where this needs to be cut. And we're going to use our paper trimmer. I'm, I think going to use, um, well, I'm not, I don't think. I know I'm going to only use two pieces of paper for today's prompt. Sorry, I'm trying to find where I where I marked that. It disappeared in the in the light. There we go. Okay. And look at these awesome paper scraps afterwards. Love it. So pretty. 
we'll have to use that somewhere else. This is very summery for me. And I love that the rainbow is like in the middle and it kind of, it's a rainbow, but it's not in rainbow color order, which is really cool. And, um, yeah, I like how it kind of radiates out from the middle with red. Really cool. Okay, so let's measure. Let's see. I need to put it there and then count for folding, which will be here. Why don't I do this? Why don't we just do it in an easier way? Ta da Brain cells at work, guys. Brain cells at work. <laughs> All right. Now let's hope that, yeah, it's, it'll be fine. Okay. So. Pencil. Here. And. Is it crooked? I think my book is crooked. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, but we're going to get it as close as we can. more cutting. Yes, we're keeping that one. We'll use that somewhere. And we've got another one to match. You know what I haven't done in a while is stitching these kinds of scraps to make a bigger scrap <laughs> and turning that into it. Ooh, I might have just come up with my today prompt idea. <laughs> okay, so let me. Yeah, I didn't get it perfect, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and glue this baby down. Ooh, we're going to have glue seepage all over the place. It's going to be a fun little mess. Try and get this as straight as I can. It won't be in the end, but that's all right. Oh yeah, it's totally going to increase somewhere else. <laughs> oh well. Isn't that pretty already? I just love it. Okay, so should I glue, put my glue on this side or on this side? Maybe this. Well, I can't really see what I'm doing here. Okay, put my, my hand here. This is the unorthodox way of doing it. I don't know if this is the right decision, but this is what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> okay. Close it from this way. Gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of the month with this journal. It's already just so fat. <laughs> Literally, I have to put like books on top of it every night. <laughs> just to keep it from being like completely open all the time. <laughs> okay. So we're just working with this a little bit to make it not so stiff so that, you know, there's like four pages of paper. There's like four pieces of paper just on this one. It feels like yeah, it's a little bit wonky there. Okay, well, that's fine. It is what it is. All right, so part two is... Da -da -da. <laughs> so this is another really great book I got from thriftbooks.com. If you can still get it, I would suggest going and getting it. Um, it's a really fun book if you like modern, kind of scandy um, style um, in kind of pastel but hip cool pastel colors. Here's the author. Here's what it's called. Paper pattern play. Um, 
ISBN number, go ahead and take a screenshot if you don't have thrift books or if you have a different way to get books. But here is an idea of what's inside. It's fabulous. Here is the page in question. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do this page. So, and I want to get as much of it. There is a perforation right here, but I want to try and get as much of this page as I can. Um, perforation be damned. <laughs> so, let's see if I can do this without murdering everything here. Actually, that's not bad. All right. So, the other page, well, the first page I found, I'll be honest, this is my second. Well, my first choice was, hold on, hold on, we're going to get there. We just saw a version of it, but in the wrong color. Yeah. Nope, it was after this. This is a hard one to flip through because there's like different weights of paper throughout. Um, if you guys are familiar here, um, I was thinking about using this page somehow thinking I would cut around these and then have some extras kind of going like that. But then I came across this page and I'm like, oh no, this is so much better. I like it so much better. So we're going to do this. All right. So now I got to figure out my layout, my composition. Is that the technical term? Um, maybe like this. Or maybe like, nope, definitely like that. Um, let's see. So it doesn't have to be the entire height. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut around this here only. And that's it. That's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I'm kind of wondering, do I like, I'm going to, I'm going to go straight with this without having a torn edge because this is kind of modern and contemporary looking. So still don't want to do the perforation, but let's go for a straight line on the right side. Yep. I want as much of that flower as I can get. Okay. So what did I just say? We're going to keep the white down here and then to there. So I'll cut here over there. Now, do I want to keep a little bit of a white border? Hmm, maybe. Maybe a very, very, very thin white border. Ta-da! Save the scraps for something else. Now, let's put this on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it so much. It's just so cool. Okay. So we need to measure where the bottom is. And I'm going to go just below it. So I don't accidentally get pencil marking on my page. baby down. I don't know why I'm saying baby all the time. <laughs> what has happened to me? Where, where am I right now? Why am I so weird? Okay.
I think I'm going to call this my um, Celebrate Pride page because it's a rainbow and July is it's Pride Month. Yay! It's so pretty! This is coming up just slightly. Let's see. Just trying to avoid having a line of glue there, but I guess we will still have one. It's kind of grungy anyway, the background paper is, so that's fine. I love it. It's so simple, but I love it. It's maybe one of my favorite pages in the journal. I know. Isn't that funny how it's so simple, but it's kind of striking. Okay, so July 18th. There. July 18th. Messy, messy. Pretty, pretty. Super simple, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!